Hey you guys, let me put my seatbelt on, hold up. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing everything we need to do to get ready for Rain's pregnancy. <laughs> Not pregnancy. Today we're doing everything we need to do before Rain's baby comes. We have to clean her stall, we have to buy straw, shavings, Nova sand for the umbilical cord, buy enema. Literally, we just have a bunch of errands to run to make sure that we're prepared and ready for this little baby. I am so excited, you guys. We're getting so close. She's already so uncomfortable and so uneasy, and I just have a feeling it's gonna be soon. Either tomorrow night, who knows, maybe even tonight. There's a lot of stuff to get done. As you guys know, she will be having the baby at the farm, so we have to make sure that we have everything that she's gonna need. And yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along. If you guys are excited, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Cindy Valentina. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And okay, let's do this. First stop, the feed store. Hopefully they're not closed yet because it's a Saturday. Nothing opens tomorrow because it's Sunday. We're, we're cutting it pretty close because she's, she's ready to pop. So we're on our way now and hopefully we can find everything we need at that one feed store. All right, you guys, we are here. Now, I actually didn't make a list and I always Always make lists, so hopefully I don't forget anything. So we need Nova Sand, which is kind of like, I guess it's kind of like Betadine, but the only reason why I'm saying Nova Sand is because that's what they used at the folding facility when I worked there. So I just have to find that, and I don't know what section I would find that in. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I just found. Predict a full, folding time predictor kit. This is interesting. Take the guesswork out of folding, predicts folding time, contains all the materials required to perform 15 tests. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, so I found it. It's right here, but you guys, it's $106, and we only need a little bit, so I I feel kind of silly spending that much. Tomorrow she's going for a checkup anyway at the folding facility, so I'm just gonna see if I can buy just a smaller amount off of Dr. Carolyn because that's too much. We're not even gonna use that much. Okay, so I'm back in the car, you guys, and I literally did not get anything at all that we need for rain. They didn't have straw here, so we're gonna have to go to another feed store to find straw. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul and show you what I actually did end up getting. I just find it funny that I always go to places for one thing and end up leaving with other things, but I'm sure that happens to most of us. So, first thing I got is this Vetresin plus antimicrobial eye wash. This is actually for the dogs just because since it's spring, I don't know if it's allergies, but all of them have had like super gunky eyes, really watery, super red, and just like full of gunk all the time. So I wanted to just grab something like this and just wash it out and see if it helps. And if not, then we're gonna have to take them to the vet. But I'm almost positive it's because it's spring and the pollen and all this stuff, allergies. So anyway, I got this to try that. I also got this insectrum dust for the cows because Penelope and Delilah have been in infested with flies. The flies have not stopped bothering them and I feel so bad. And they're the first cows we've ever owned so we're not really too sure how to go about the fly control system with cows. With horses, obviously we've used fly spray but with cows, I'm not exactly sure if it's the same thing. If you guys have any tips for fly control for cows, let me know. Leave them in the comments below but I saw this and it seemed really interesting. It's just a dust that you dust on them and it's supposed to be for lice and fly control on horses, cattle, and swine. So I'm gonna try that for the cows. I also got a fly mask just because again it's springtime and the flies are starting to come out again and Journey actually lost his fly mask so I got him another one this one's actually a medium and I think it's gonna be a little bit too big but I bought it big on purpose just so it lasts him a little bit longer and I really like this kind of like lycra one I don't know if there's a picture on here I don't know if you guys can see that it's like a little bit tighter on their face well now that it's summer I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one because it might be hot I don't know anyway I got him this it's black lastly I got this little horseshoe tie ring I actually just asked you guys on Instagram to help me choose um, so if you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me down below. I always ask for your opinion, advice. It's just a good way to stay up to date. But yeah, you guys always help me out picking things. I'm the most indecisive person ever. So thanks for all your suggestions. I ended up going with this little green one. Anyway, we're gonna head over to a different feed store and get that straw. Later. All right, you guys. Okay, that is super dark. Okay, that's better. Anyway, I'm sorry if you can see the mess. The feed store was closed because it's the weekend, so we didn't get to get straw. So instead, I just came over to my house because I have to find my thermometer. I actually, oh, here it is. I'm trying to think of any other things I might need. I think that's it. I think it's just my thermometer. So this is just to keep track of Rain's temperature. Also check the baby's temperature, make sure everything's okay. When it's born, we're still missing straw, but I think we might try one more feed store. But yeah, let's go. But before I go, I actually want to say hi to my girls. Hi there. I miss you. You know Rainy's having a baby? Did you know now? She's having a baby. There's Crystal. Hi. 
Hi, Mama. Hi there. You know, Rainy's having a baby just like you. She's having a baby just like you did. This year's her turn. You guys, I can't believe there's gonna be another baby. You had one last year, now it's Rainy's turn. I can't believe it. Mm, you were such a good girl. You have any pointers for Rain? Well, I guess Rain should be the one giving her pointers since Rain has had three babies in the past and Crystal's was her first one last year, but isn't that crazy? Rainy's gonna be a mama girl. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. All right, are you guys gonna send any congratulations to Rain? Anything to say? Some tips? Huh, Brandy? <laughs> any tips for Rainy girl? She's like, um, if you have treats, I don't have any more. All right, bye girls. Have to go get that stall ready. I love you. So that was kind of a fail. We couldn't find the enema. I don't know what's going on with today's errands, but we're not getting anything that we need. I'm hoping to take Rain tomorrow to her last ultrasound, and it's just a little checkup to make sure everything looks good. So I figured I could just buy everything I need from the folding facility. I mean, I highly doubt she'll have the baby tonight. We're gonna hope not, but all of those things are just like a little precaution. They're not like 100% necessary. That's why I'm not like panicking or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I have time to just clean up the stall a little bit, see how she's doing, give you guys a little update on what she's actually looking like and yeah Alrighty, I am back in the famous folding stall and I'm here with Rainy Girl. Say hi, Rainy Girl. This is her belly. Oh my gosh. I swear, it's huge. Like, look at this. Look at this. It's humongous. This is what her udder is looking like. It's dark in here, so I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's still no dripping, no waxing up, nothing. But she is huge, as you guys can see. Right, girl? I'm sorry. It's okay to be big. It's a baby. I don't exactly know when she's gonna fall. I feel like it might be soon, but there's still no waxing up. There's still no dripping or anything like that. So who knows? But while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the camera, even though there's a huge spider on it right now, and I'm kind of scared to like touch it. I don't know if you guys remember, but I installed these cameras when Crystal was pregnant just to watch her and everything, and they work really well, but this one's kind of tilted up too high, so when I try and check on her at night, I can't really see her. It's showing too much of the ceiling, so I'm gonna climb up there right now and see if I can adjust it, but you guys, there's like a huge spider on it, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it's like huge, and it's like right on the... Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that spider, but it's right on the lens of the camera, and I'm really hoping it doesn't try to bite me or jump on me when I try and fix the camera. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I've actually mentioned this, but Journey Boy is here. <laughs> this little baby was in this stall. This was his stall when he was a little munchkin. No. <laughs> and now he's keeping rain company, huh? Look how big he is. It's just funny how it all comes full circle, huh? He grew up in this stall, and now another baby's gonna be born in this stall. But basically, he's here to keep rain company, and also because I'm staying here to help with rain, I needed to bring him with me because I feed him every day morning and evening and it just w wouldn't make sense for me to drive every single morning and every single evening to feed him So I thought it would just be easier to bring him over here and plus he's keeping rain company and he's getting good exposure You know being trailered. So yeah, anyway journey's here So I'm gonna go ahead and climb up there right now. Wish me luck. Let's hope this spider doesn't eat me I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm scared what do I do? I'm already here and it's gonna jump on me. I'm never scared of things, but this one's a really scary looking spider. Okay. I am way too scared to do this right now. That spider looks super scary, um, and I'm just not that brave. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just try and kind of sweep it off of the camera, and then I don't have to worry about the spider, because I'm scared that the moment I reach over to touch the camera, it's gonna jump on my hand or something. Um, so let me just try and like, Sweep it off. I, I don't know with what. Maybe this piece of wood. Oh, you guys, this is like not, this is not a good, good idea. I got it off. Okay, so I got the spider off of the camera. Now I'm gonna adjust it. Hopefully the spider doesn't wanna kill me. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Done. Okay.
Okay, the camera is adjusted and now I'm actually gonna take her temperature just because she's been having a lot of diarrhea lately Which is kind of worrying me tomorrow We're taking her to the folding vet just to do her final checkup and just talk to the vet about this just because I don't know It is weird that she's having diarrhea even though online it says that it's normal for pregnant mares to, to kind of have some diarrhea towards the end of the pregnancy But still she is having quite a bit so I brought my thermometer and I'm gonna check her temperature just to make sure everything is good Right baby girl you having so much diarrhea like look at that that diarrhea what's going on with you girl hmm is that baby just pushing your poop out <laughs> gosh her belly's huge Okay, so her temperature is 100.3, which is not bad at all. <laughs> My thermometer is disgusting now. I mean, her temperature is good. I might just double check again a little bit later just because she was moving a lot, but no fever. All right, so now I'm going to actually clean her stall just because it's dirty. You know, you got to clean stalls. And I think we'll be done for tonight. The camera's set up, and I mean, hopefully she doesn't have the baby tonight. But if she has it, it's all good anyway. I feel like we have kind of most of the stuff we need, and I think we'll be done for tonight. Once we get the straw and get more shavings, I'm gonna do a deeper clean, but for now, this is good enough. My camera died, but I am done for today. Rain is doing good, the stall is clean. Now, all I have to do is just watch her tonight, and tomorrow, she's having her ultrasound, so definitely stay tuned to make sure you have your post notifications on so you guys don't miss any videos. This baby's gonna be here, like, literally within the week. I feel it, I just know it. Hopefully, everything turns out all right. I'm sure it will. If you guys enjoyed watching and coming along, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, if there's any more updates, if anything happens, I will definitely pop in and vlog for you guys but I think the next video is gonna be her final ultrasound so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait here's my notification shout out <laughs> if you guys want to be shouted out all you have to do is just click that notification bell down below and then leave me a comment letting me know that you've done it and that is it you might be shouted out in my next video I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye